Hi guys, we're two thirds of the way through January and today I'm going to talk to you about my TBR jar. Okay, so this looks so serene. I'm cutting up some bits of paper, it's all charming and cute, but the chaos that it caused was insane. I was worried that I wasn't going to get to bed at all last night because the bed was covered in books. The floor was covered in books. And every time I tried to move they fell on top of me. And much as I have been wanting a TBR jar for a little while, this was just an excuse for me to put my books back in alphabetical order because that is how I roll. Oh look! A mason jar! How Pinteresting. Yeah, I've been looking for a use for that jar for a long long time now. I've owned it for about four years. It hasn't had anything in it. At least not since my housemate stopped storing porridge in it a couple of years ago. It's probably about now that I realised that the little bits of paper that I had weren't quite going to fill the jar as much as I thought. I was going to go back to normal speed here, but it took me an embarrassing amount of time to actually get the lid on the jar. Oh yeah, shake it real good. So in the eight minutes it took me to cut up all those bits of paper, fold them and put them in the jar, my housemate returned from Southampton, probably went to the loo and has begun practising brass instruments downstairs. You can probably hear that. So the idea behind this beautiful jar that isn't quite as full as I thought it was going to be is that if I don't know what I want to read then I can just stick my hand in and pull out a book and hopefully it'll be something that I'm going to read. But I'm not like enforcing it, I might like try and do one a month or something like that just to shake it up instead of constantly reading YA and getting through all my new books really quickly. It's not as full as I thought it was going to be because it turns out I only have about 58 unread books and some of those are over 500 pages so I've not put them in the jar because that seemed a bit too pressured for me. Um, I'm enjoying shaking it. But yeah, I'm glad that I've not got as many books as I thought I did because I've decided to take part in the 0x16 challenge which you can find on Twitter and I will put a link down below. You can't see my hands because I'm too short. And yeah, it's really cool. They're really nice. I've only been over there a little bit because I've cheated and bought books this month. But... I'm gonna try and read my bookshelf. So yeah, have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Goodbye! My tripod wasn't quite tall enough so I extended it using four years of musical academia. Two degrees well spent.